Hello, hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening, Domi. Good evening. Ha hello, happy Tuesday, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Ese va a ser el mantra de nosotros. Happy, mm, happy Tuesday. Mm. How's everybody doing? How are you, Delmi? I'm pretty good, thank you. Nice, nice, well. to, nice to hear, nice to hear. Henry, how are you doing? I see you got a haircut, Henry. Good, 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 good haircut. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, a little tired, but with enthusiasm. Nice, nice to hear that. All right, all right. Uh, let's see, Ricardo doing fine. Thanks for asking. Yeah, Ricardo always, you know. Jose, hello, welcome. Alexander, welcome. Diana, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Are you guys keeping up with the with the news? Do you guys follow the news in Twitter? Do you guys follow the news on the... Good evening, good evening, Diana. Do you guys follow the news on TV? No, no news? No news is good news. Somebody told me one day. No news, only TikTok. <laughs> only TikTok, All right. yeah. TikTok became very... Free. Yeah, yeah, TikTok is pretty good. You know, I, I try to figure out the other day, um, how do these guys that work on TikTok or Twitter or Instagram make money? So now with Instagram, you have to have a lot of followers in order for somebody to pay you to come up wearing a shirt, for example. You know, if I, if I, if I have like, uh, you know, my own little brand, uh, tal vez, tal vez no como la cosba, que es un cocodrilo, tal vez un tengereche, right? And then you make your own shirt with a little tengereche. Rav, hello, welcome. And then you pay one of these guys that are Instagram or have a hundred thousand million followers on Instagram, and you tell them, hey, look, if you wear my shirt, you know, twice a week, I'll give you five thousand dollars a month. And then I think that that's, a, you know, I was looking into that and, and, and I believe that that's how they make money. Now, Twitter was not like that. It didn't work like that. Twitter was a little bit harder because there was no, no one paying that amount of money. However, I don't know if you guys have noticed that in the past month, they started doing something like that. And now you can make money on Twitter as well. Um, you know, Twitter is just barely changing and, and they're getting into that because for a really long time, Twitter did not have sponsorships and, you know, there was no way of making money on Twitter. People were just famous on Twitter for being famous, but then they used Twitter, you know, to go into Instagram and to YouTube and to everything else that gave you money. So, uh, um, you know, I was, I, I was trying to look and see, you know, how can somebody make money using these things? Uh, TikTok, you need a lot of followers. Um, you know, I can't do it with, you know, my 50,000 followers that I have. I need a lot more to be able to make a little bit of money on TikTok. You have to, you have to be very, very, um, either very, very beautiful, right? Very, very funny, or you, your gimmick really has to catch people's attention because TikTok TikTok is very hard, man. Um, so I, I've been looking at into into that because uh, one of my friends uh, he said he met Luisito Comunica. Have you guys have you guys heard of that guy, Luis Luisito Comunica? Uh, my friend is a surfer, uh, and Luisito Comunica went down to El Tunco, and uh, you know everybody was there, and we have we have a world champion. Um, I know his first name. His first name, I, I believe, is Brian. <laughs> and so my friend was telling me, Luisito Comunica came, and like there was police escorting them everywhere. Y no eran los policías normales, eran los 
heavy duty. These guys meant business, man. You couldn't really go up to Luisito and try to get a picture with him. Um, he had to go see you. And if you were lucky enough to be in that same place, then you would be able to ask him for, uh, you know, for a picture. But if you were like outside the circle and try to get in to get a picture, you couldn't. They wouldn't let you go through. Um, and so my friend was telling me that story. And I was like, who is Luisito Comunica? And then so I, I started to look for him in YouTube. And you know what? It, it was actually kind of it was actually kind of cool to watch him. Um, También me puse a ver al otro que era Fernando Fernan Flo. Fernan Flo, I think. Now, Fernan Flo, I believe he retired. Uh, he is no longer doing the same uh, things with YouTube. However, he still does from time to time a couple of videos. So I was able to. Now, Fernan Flo is the most popular YouTuber we have in El Salvador. So, you know, Luisito Comunica is from like Mexico, and Fernan Flo is from El Salvador. And there's a few others that, you know, once you get into that specific, I want to say, category in YouTube, you know, everything, <laughs> I don't know, everything starts to change <laughs> for, I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse, but there's a lot, there's a lot of YouTubers, man. So I asked myself, how do these people make, make money, you know? And so with YouTube, um, there, there's the, you know, you, you record yourself and you, you can actually, you know, charge money. Um, it's really hard with YouTube because you need a lot of subscribers. You need a lot of views. So it's, it's really complicated, man. So how, where am I going with this? My question to you guys. Have you guys ever thought about making money using social media? And if you have... You know, what did you try to do? So let me start, right? Uh, I, I tried a video of me playing games a long time ago. I would say maybe, you know, maybe eight or nine years ago, maybe. Um, it didn't work out, right? Uh, the internet for us, it's, it's kind of bad. Well, it was kind of bad back then. So it was really hard to stream or it was really hard to record and upload and all that stuff, right? And um, another thing that was happening is, you know, not too many people start to follow you, not even your friends. So, you know, you have like a whole bunch of friends, but then you tell them, hey, I have a YouTube video, follow me. And they're like, mm, no, mm, I'm not going to do that. And so, you know, it, it got kind of hard. Um, and I didn't go back into it until like this week that I had this conversation with my friends. So, you know, there it is, YouTube. You might find me there. Tun, 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 todo gamer, va, todo. Y el, ese es el teacher. Ese, ese soy yo. Ese era yo. Van a reconocer mis dedos gordos. <laughs> All right. And how about you? Did you guys, have you guys tried any uh, TikTok? Anybody here? Well, let me ask you guys first. How many of you guys, by show of hands, how many of you guys have Facebook? Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. All right, all right. Facebook, yeah. I, I, I uh, soy, soy extremadamente chambrosín, so I, uh, si estuviéramos hablando de Luisito Comunica, el teacher, teacher el chambrosín sería yo. I, I, you know, I really like to look at all the stories. Uh, how many of you guys use Twitter? Social media, Twitter, Twitter. Uh, there we go, Henry. Yeah, you know, it, I, I think that Twitter actually gives you the same level of voice because somebody famous can post something and you can piggyback on that and people will listen to you. So I, you know, I like Twitter because it, it really creates equality, I would say. Um, how about Instagram? Anybody Instagram? I don't really use it that much, but I do have an Instagram account and I do post, you know, some different things, you know, now and then good pictures. All right. All right, let me see what else. Uh, did I mention TikTok yet? No, uh, TikTok. Anybody TikTok? I, I don't have TikTok. Um, and to tell you the truth, I, I downloaded TikTok and then I took it off. I don't know if you guys remember how they were saying how the Chinese were getting all the information from your phones and there was no restrictions and, you know, TikTok made it really, really easy. And so it's not that I have like tons of money, right? But imagínate que los lo 20, 30 chirilicas que tenés por ahí y viene alguien y te lo huevea porque estás en TikTok. Uh, I, uh, you know, I, I, I couldn't, you know, I wanted to say that in English, but I couldn't find the word for 
guaviar <laughs> because there, you know it doesn't sound the same it doesn't create the same level of tension so all right well that's good to hear so we went uh facebook twitter uh we did TikTok, instagram all right so those are, i would say those are the, like the most famous there's a couple of other ones out there there's one called snap chat which is like videos uh, that one is not that famous right now the reason i bring this up is because nowadays uh, when you go to job interviews they ask you a lot about social media actually social media is it's pretty big um if you are going through the process of learning english and uh you you might want to step into the ring uh in regards to a call center uh, within the call center environment, social media is, is a really big thing. Um, they all have Instagram pages. Um, they all have Facebook accounts. They all have Twitter. Um, and in most of the cases, when you guys are interviewing, they will ask you guys for email addresses. They will ask you for Facebook uh, usernames or what's your Facebook or how do you appear on Facebook. Um, they'll ask you for Twitter information. Some, some of them will do it, right? Um, I, I would say the majority will just ask you for maybe email and in some cases, Facebook, right? And then everything else, uh, they, they pretty much give you an idea of what things you can post and things that you cannot post. And they'll tell you the different, uh, different uh, outlets. And uh, they will also mention, you know, how to post if you are going to post something. So uh, giving you a heads up and that way you have an idea that when we're discussing social media or when you hear people say social media, they usually refer to all of these tools that um, that I used in terms of the reference. So, so keep an eye out for that one. All right, good, good to hear. Y eso y también para que me busquen ¿verdad? en Facebook, aparezco como teacher, uh, benevolente God, uh, noob beginner number one, 2021. Así que, uh, ojo también, si, si ven al teacher por ahí posteando cosas radicales. Yes, that is me, right? <laughs> Todo radical. ¿Creen ustedes que esta barba es de, es de puro choto, no hombre? Uh -huh. All right, everybody. Uh, nice having you on board. Welcome to this Tuesday. Wonderful chat. I think we were able to get a, a, a little bit of information going with the social media. Um, I believe there's a there was a WhatsApp message today, letting you know that within the next within either this week, I believe, they were going to start requesting documents. for the next module. Así es que ojo con eso en WhatsApp. They have been mentioning, they mentioned it today. They send a big old pergamino. Uh, please, please make sure you guys take some time to read that. And also, um, you know, give the platform um, a little bit of time throughout your busy, busy week. So let me go ahead and show you where I am at after last night right and see how we are doing how i'm doing let me go ahead and show you guys platform and so let me go ahead and ask you guys about the platform work how are you guys doing were you guys able to move ahead were you guys able to get um some of the modules completed I know that section one, in terms of weeks, right, it should have been completed. But sometimes, you know, we take a little bit of time. So just in case you guys are still pending with section one, you know, give it give it a quick look. Um, I think that within section one, the modules that take the most time is actually the videos, because you do have to completely watch the videos in order to get you know the the little check mark and this is my platform let me go ahead and click on progress and see how i did after oh my goodness well not bad at all look at that guys 
this one is mine and I was able, I'm still at 60% with section one. So I think I have to go back and look for that. Uh, section two, I was able to complete it. Uh, we should start section three tonight, maybe just the real beginning of section three and then uh, section four, which we're going to see next week. My average so far is 40%. I did my midterm and I have my total at 42%. All right. So I still have a little bit more to go before I get my certification. Um, so give some of the modules a look, see what's going on. In some cases, it could be that maybe there's a knowledge check that is missing. You guys can also kind of scroll down on here and it will tell you what is it that, you know, what is it that the, that the section is missing. And from here, what I can tell is that I was able to complete module one, two, three, and then I have two that are at zero. And so that that's why section one appears at 60%. All right, so give that a look, see how it's coming along. And hopefully, hopefully you guys are able to um, get that moving. And, you know, within next week or the following week, get to that 80%. All right, so for today, what we're going to do is kind of do, a, we're, we are going to do a review, but it's going to be a very quick review of the knowledge checks just to show you guys how they are. And then we're gonna move into section three and then begin working on that. So before we do this one, I actually wanted to complete some of the live worksheets that I've been telling you about. And um, we left off in models and I wanna follow the sections. Uh, so first we saw the models and then we talked about verbs. And so that's the way I want to carry it out. Uh, that way, you know, you guys don't get too confused about what is it that we're covering. All right. So since we left in models, remember, we were looking at general models, you know, how models are used in an everyday conversation. What are the most common? And when they give you feedback for models being used, I want you guys to have an idea of what happened, right? What is it that you miss? Because that's usually what happens when they give you feedback for English, right? They'll tell you that you missed on uh, pronunciation and then they'll give you the, uh, for example, they will say, uh, you missed pronunciation, your schwa. You were not using your schwa. Y vos en ese momento te quedas así como que, ¿y qué es el schwa? Right, what, what is that, right? I, I don't know what that is. So um, in order for us to not go through that, I wanna make sure that we do cover some of these and we do some of the exercises so that we have a better idea. And as you guys can see, we have a lot, right? We have a lot to go through. Um, I'm gonna try to cover these as quickly as possible. And then that way we can move on to verbs and then final, we go back to the platform if we have time. So let's start off with model verbs. And to, for this one, we're only going to use must, should, and have to. Must, remember, it's an obligation, right? Oh, you must do it. Or you mustn't do it. Should or shouldn't or should not. You guys can say should not. You guys can say shouldn't. If it's hard for you guys to say shouldn't, don't use it, right? Wait until you get really good at pronouncing the word should not and then switch it, you know, and use the contraction. Um, if, if you guys don't feel comfortable with it, don't, don't, nobody misses it, right? So you guys can say must or must not. You could say should or should not. Have to, you have to. You don't have to. And she doesn't have to. Right, so these are the different ways that you can say. It. So let's start off with these four options. And these are just the negatives, right? So whenever you guys see the must not, that's the negative. Should not is the negative. Does not have to is the negative, okay? So I want you guys to look at the sentence. I, then the blank, study this weekend it's it's my obligation as a student. Oh, it's an obligation. What can we use here? 
I. I have to. I have to. Have to. All right. Oh, look. Yeah, I, I even have the right. To. Have to. I'll, I'll accept that, Madeline. Thank you. Yeah. I think it must because it's an obligation. You, you, you want to use must? Yes, I think. Because with, with have to, you have the option. With have to, there is an option. With must, you don't have an option. Yeah. Mustn't. All right. Mustn't. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. We'll leave. I have to study this weekend because there was a couple of classmates who chose it. If that doesn't work, we'll go back and we'll try with mustn't, okay? And see which one is there. Now, remember that must and have to have the same degree. You can say that it's kind of like the same degree of obligation, right? You just have to kind of look at how the sentence is formatted and which one fits better. So I have to study this weekend. It's my obligation as a student, all right? Okay. Number two, you blank feed the animals in the zoo it's forbidden you must end. you must and okay you must and you mustn't not have to you don't have to well the thing is that when you say you don't have to feed the animals in the zoo it's more of a maybe a choice or maybe now in this case it's a law must and is a better uh-huh it's it's forbidden. Teacher, yes, it could yes. be shouldn't. 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 Shouldn't fit. You know what? Hands. You could you shouldn't. It's an it's an advice. If you are given it as an advice, you could say you shouldn't feed the animals in the zoo because it is forbidden, right? So that one could also fit. So if mustn't doesn't fit, we'll try shouldn't. Doesn't sound it because it actually sounds pretty good. You shouldn't feed the animals in the zoo. It's forbidden. You know, it sounds it sounds like it might go in there. Yeah. All right. Let's try number three. I blank make my bed every morning. I blank help my parents at home. Must. I must. Let's try must. That one. I must make my bed every morning. I have to. I, I have, have to. Uh -huh, I have to. I have to help my parents at home. All I right, have so now, to. Where? The thing is, I have to. So here, so what you're saying is, in the first blank. Let's see. Let's let's try. Let's try. Must L listen to must. I must make my bed every morning. I have to help my parents at home. What do you guys think? Um, so, Raf, I think I think you were saying I have to. I have to make my bed every morning. I have to help my yeah. parents at home. I, so, no, I must. Must. So must. Must. Must here. I must to help my parents. It, does that sound better? I have to make my bed every morning. I must help my parents at home. Raf, Raf, we we missed yeah. we missed some of it there. The second one must for me. For, okay. Well, a couple a couple of the classmates agree, right? Let's leave it like this and see what happens. Let's go to number four. Yes, I can. Hold on, let me make it. Uh, yes, as uh, you said, four. Let me... I was saying. Okay. You should, I think. For number, number four, four, you should. You should. You should. You should. You should. You should do exercise every day. It's good for you. Do exercise every day. Okay. All right. It's good for you. Number five. Should. Yeah. You should. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Yes. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Okay. Shouldn't. Number Shouldn't. 
Hello, Maricela. Well, actually, yeah, I haven't said hello. To, I haven't said hello to a couple of people, right? Hello, Maricela. Hello, Rav. Hello, Luis. Josue. <laughs> hello, 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 Madeline. Hello, Jarvin. Hello, hello Madeline. Hello, Madeline. Hello, hello teacher. Sorry, Sorry about that. Right. Es que estamos, es, estamos engaged ahorita. Estamos engaged right this moment, right this instant. All right. So number six, we said, what was it? You... And you must, you must, you yes, must help me now. Would be must. You must help me now. That helped me this morning. Help me this morning. Mm. You have to. You have to. You have. should. No. You should. You should help Depend. me now. That helped me this morning. <laughs> depends. De depends what what you type of work it was, right? You have to. So this is kind of like you know my, you yeah. know my sister, my brother. You it have to help on the me now. Right? That yeah. helped me this morning. Yeah, yeah. It, it depends. You must help me now. That helped me this morning. You know there was a few that said must. There's a couple that said have to. I think we're gonna have okay. to do. A, uh, we're gonna have to do a, a coin toss. Teacher. On this one. Yeah. Okay. Because for example, uh, there are certain families who have. Um, rules. So for right. them, would be like must, right? For them, it, if the if case. there's a rule that has been a, a that's uh -huh. being applied, it, it's a must. Now remember, uh -huh. remember, you could use both. You could say either must or you can say mm -hmm. either have to. Yeah. Right. Okay. It all depends on how that sentence mm -hmm. is being formulated and by whom. Yeah. You, you must. Let's try. Mm -hmm. You must. And then, if not, we can try have to. All right, no. number seven. Have to. You must. Have to. They, I have they a have must. to. I have a must. Anybody else for must? Have yeah. Have I have one must. and one. Harder. Have to. They say they have to study harder if harder. they want to pass if their they exam. Pass they must study harder if they want to pass their exams. They must study harder. They have to study harder. I feel, yeah. you know, I feel like they you must. must. They, they must. 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 Like to. All yes. right. They There's a couple. Must study harder. They must study harder. No. All right. We'll we'll hold on to must, and if that doesn't <laughs> work, we'll come back to have yeah. to. Have to. Yeah. That's, we can try it, right? Have to. All right. Number eight. Number eight. You. You should. You should. Children, children. You mustn't. You shouldn't use your mobile phone in class. Depends like the teacher. Remember that shouldn't is an advice from another yeah. from another classmate. Okay. Uh, you mustn't. It is a rule, right? It will be a rule. Yeah. What is it? Must. And I'm missing something. T and T mustn't. No, I think I, yeah, oh. that's it, right? Mustn't. Yes, it is the gun. <laughs> but you don't have. You don't have to. You don't have to use your mobile phone in class. That's also another option. You don't have to. Yes. Now, you don't have to. But, but when you say it's when you obligation, say, right? Say, yeah, so My so let's say can yep. can use what? what teacher, but when you say you don't have to use your mobile in class, you have the option if you want to use it, you, you can use it. That's what right. actually you're saying in that case. That's right? what you're saying. So whenever you guys see don't have to, so for example, ya estás, you know, I, I think we've all been to that point, right? Where you went to somebody's friend's house and they took out the tequila you know tequila is bad for you and then mm -hmm. everybody's having a really good time and they take the one shot and you know for a fact that you can only take two shots the first one and you get really you know warm inside the second one you vomit you know that for a fact right but then there's somebody in the room that tells you do it take that second shot take it Take it, take it, take it. Y vos va, peer pressure va, uh, ahí va. And then there's somebody, there, viene el ángel va, viene ahí el teacher y te dice, hmm. you know, 
So you don't have to take that second shot. You don't have to take it. You have nothing to prove. You already took one shot. So you don't have to yeah. take that second shot. That's the best example, I think. That, 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 think of it like, think of it as, you know, the tequila. Think of it as people jumping from a cliff into the water, right? You see all your friends doing it. You don't have to do it, right? You must do it, <laughs> you, but you don't have to, you know, so you can look at it that way. So in this particular case, it, it, this, is, this is what Raph was saying. If you tell somebody you don't have to use your mobile and phone, you're giving him the choice of whether he can use it or not. However, in most classes, it is not about a choice. It is a rule yes. that the class has, right? Teacher, a question. Yes, Madeline. Uh, haven't is it's okay or not? Haven't, haven't. Well, the thing is that when you use haven't, it's yeah. you saying have not. It is the not. it is yeah. it is the short version of saying have not. So you would have to use it, and you would have to say, I haven't study this weekend it's my obligation as a student so it wouldn't you actually wouldn't be able to use it in most of these cases because of the way that the sentence has been formulated haven't or have not is more of you saying it in past tense but in in this case you uh, would have you would have to change the whole sentence so for example no, my question is, is it's okay to, uh, to speak uh, don't have to or haven't? Is the same or not? It's not the same. No, no, Madeline. No? Here, if you wanna if you want to express this, you have to say have to or have not. Like here, you see how it, here we have do not have to. I don't know. I, I think maybe maybe I'm I'm misunderstanding, Madden. Um, do you want to compare have not with have to? Is that the ones? Is that the one that you are comparing? Have to versus uh, don't have to and having to. Yeah, no, no, you won't you won't be able to no. use it like that, Madeline. No. No. I, I see what you I see what you're saying. So sorry, sorry, sorry. You don't have to. You don't. You don't have to. That is a way that you could say. No, you won't be able. You don't haven't. No, you you won't be able to use it, Maddie. You haven't. No. Well, yeah, like that. To. Yes, if you use it like that, then you can. You haven't. You haven't to. Mm-hmm. You haven't. Okay, you haven't to. It's the same. I don't have to. Mm, no, 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 no. Um, when you say you haven't, what you're saying is you have not. You have not mm -hmm. to. Well, see, that's the thing. You cannot add you have not to. You won't be able to, to use it. No, you can't. You can't. You can't add the to there you would have to change it a little bit. Um, for example, you would have to, you would have to change it to, you have not jumped before. If we were talking about the cliff, um, if we were talking about the, the shots, you have not drank two shots before. So you, you cannot, you won't be able to use, oh, that, that's okay, Maricela, no worries. That's okay. So Madeline, they, they are different and you would have they to look at, they are different. You would have to see how the sentence is being completed for you to be it's able wrong. to. It's a run to, to, to say haven't. It's haven't not. To, it's run. No, no, it's not wrong to say you haven't, but to add the two, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit in the sentence. 
Uh, All right. So, so you see, Raph. Well, no, no, no. Well, the thing. Is, look, look. In in the chat, there is uh, an example. I haven't eaten yet. Okay. I don't have to eat. Okay. No tengo que comer. Correcto. But, but you see how no, you are I not. Don't have to eat. Right. You cannot say haven't to eat. You cannot add the two there in the middle. You either have to leave the half to, pero no puedes agregarle el not. No puedes decir have not to eat. Have not to eat is, is, incorrect. is wrong. Is wrong. Incorrect. That, that is incorrect. Um, to eat. Uh, okay. Uh, you have um, to write don't. Don't. Okay. You can okay. say you can say something like this. If you want to use haven't, you can say I haven't eaten yet, which is what Raf used. And that will work. I haven't showered in three days. Nah. Acuérdense que el, el cascarón guarda el palo, right? Uh, ¿Cómo es? Like, what is it? What's it called? From the tree? Not the trunk. ¿Cómo se le llama el cascarón ese que tiene el, que tienen los árboles? Don't let me die. Don't let me die. Help. Corteza. La corteza cascara. Oh my God. Woo. All right. So, uh, Madeline, are you so? Are we clear? You you won't be able to use the word to when you're using haven't. Okay. Okay. All Never right. I speak haven't. Good. But but it's okay to use it. Remember, it's okay for you to say it. I haven't gone to the market yet. You could use it. You could use it. It is something that you can use. Okay. All right. Let me see. Number nine. How are we for number nine? She blanks wear a uniform at school. She can wear jeans. Oh. I don't have a statement. She, uh, do, she, she doesn't. She shouldn't, shouldn't wear a uniform. She shouldn't wear a uniform at school. school. She shouldn't. She shouldn't. But have to. In a, at school. At, uh -huh. school. at school. She should wear a She shouldn't. Uniform. She shouldn't wear a uniform at school. She can wear jeans. That's how it sounds if we use shouldn't. But it's impossible. Do you guys want to try something else? Doesn't it doesn't have, have to. to. She doesn't have to. Doesn't have to wear. She doesn't have to wear a uniform at school she can wear jeans all right that that fits okay number 10 you mustn't you mustn't but the statement she have to wear you shouldn't at school. she can wear you right Right, the statement says she she, must, so it's, it's more like advice, right? No, or well, in this particular the expert, in, it's, it's, it, well, in this particular case, with the uniform, oh, sorry, the last one, food. no, the last, oh, with the food, okay, you shouldn't eat fast food, it's bad for you. This is this is the advice from the expert, okay. See. Or from a friend, right? I don't want to. I want. I don't want you to die. You know. You could say something like that. All right, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's see how it turns. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Oh, oh, we got eight, nine, ten, right? Okay. No. So we, we have to change a couple of these. What happened to us? Oh, so you must help me now. That one was not correct. So remember, guys, remember, take a, take a screenshot of this one. 
number one, number three, well, the first portion of number three, number six and seven. Are, are you guys bad. got it? Yeah, th those are bad. One, three, six, and seven. So let's go, let's go back. All right. And the number one is? Number one, what must. do you guys want to try? Must. Must. I must study this weekend. It's my obligation as a student. Okay. And then the first portion of three? I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, I have to make my bed every morning. Oh, I have to make my I bed every make, morning. I, I so now, I now must run. the second portion was right. Yes, so yes. we had I have to hear have and it was right. No, we have must. No, it was must. Two. Yes. It was must. must. So I have to make my bed every morning. I must help my parents at home. Right? But the first portion is wrong. Have to is wrong. Have, the answer yes. in, have to is the, the old morning. answer. So well, then we have to run. Okay. But, um, I think it's should. Should. <laughs> For me, also Let's should. No, okay. No, no, must. To, I must make my bed. I have no. to. Well, we had have to, I Madeline, and we got it wrong. Have to is wrong. Have should to was wrong. In the, at, at the beginning, should and um, this one should um, i must study the last the is have to is wrong have to in the first yeah we had we got it wrong we <laughs> number uh -huh. one we had wrong number three this one we had wrong and then six yes. and seven six and seven we used must for both and they yes. were both wrong yes 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 so let's I try this. number six was should should let's try that one should and number seven we now we should they mm. they it's an advice they have, have to, to number have seven to harder. they have to study harder yeah. if they want to pass all right let's try it like this let's try it like this yes here we go here we go here we go no they're wrong no. we got one we got one no. we got one all right so we have to work on three, six, and seven. A ver. What's it mean? It's your fault, teacher. Three, six, and seven. <laughs> A ver. So we already tried have to. Um, you have to is run. Must. I think it must. Must. And then must. Yes. Must. I must. Must yes. make myself every morning. And then I, I have to. And the second I one is to must too. Yes. So must on both. I must make yes. my bed every morning. I must help my parents at home. Twice. All right. How about six and seven? I see it should. Again. We use we use should and it should was wrong. Yes, I know, but I think it should. <laughs> what about have to? You have, have, have to. to. Maybe the second one is right. And number seven, have you have to help me now. Number seven, you have they should study hard. Should. All right, let's try it like that. Okay. This is the last one. This is the last time before we move. I think so. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Oh, we can. <laughs> Oh, yeah. number six. Must, no. must is okay, but we tried must number, and must was wrong. Number six. Should was wrong and have to was wrong. Oh, this is not going to let us sleep tonight. All right. <laughs> so let's review some of that. Let's review. let's review before we go back to that one and kill it, right? Let's go back a little bit here. Um, Model verbs, we have when you guys are using ability, right? Remember, she can speak six languages. They could not dance very well, or they could. 
or they can dance very well, expression of um, ability. Mm -hmm. Permission, uh, can I go to the concert? Uh, yes, you can, right? Can I leave early tonight? No, you couldn't. Mm -hmm. You may use your mobiles now, right? So now somebody told you now you can do it, right? Can I use my mobile? No, you can't. But now that the class is finished, now you may use it, okay? Um, you have them for prohibition. Uh, you can't eat in the class. You mustn't smoke in this building. Obligation can also be must. But with obligation, uh, you know, it changes a little bit because now we have have to. We must recycle to save the planet. Or you have to do your homework. Let me go ahead and make sure we make it fit here. Uh, no obligation. Don't have to or does not have to, but you do not have to wear uniforms. He doesn't have to, right? Wash the dishes. Okay. And then giving advice, it's must and shouldn't. Now with these, there's a whole other bunch that we can use. There's one that I really like to use. Um, hopefully, you know, this one helps out a little bit more. It shows uh, the words that you can use for obligation, the ones that you can use for ability, deduction, advice, and then, you know, you have a, a really long exercise for you to practice. So it, it makes it really nice because it kind of puts, you know, you can always go back and look at the screen, but it does really help out. All right. So with that, we're going to put these on hold and we're going to move into our verbs. Now, with verbs, remember, we have regular verbs and we have irregular verbs. Do you guys know what makes something irregular? When we talk about a verb, what makes that verb irregular? Irregular verb, yes. Regular verb? Right. Sand. Ricardo. Me. Yeah, there we go. There we go, Maddie. So they don't follow that rule. You guys will not see, for example, the yeah. ED okay. being added or the ING being added, right? They stay pretty much the same. So, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to drag and drop the regular verbs. So how do we do that? Well, we think of the word and then we say, if we're talking about the past and we just, you know, we know that there's a rule for tenses, break, how do I break say it? Broke, broke Broke it, broken. Broken, Bre breaking. Breaking is breaking now. So that would be, um, that would be, you wouldn't be able to use that one, breaking. Uh, I found it and it was broken. It, it's already in the past broken, but you know what? It doesn't add the ed because you don't say broke it, right? You don't say broke. So I think break might actually be in the irregular verbs. Okay. Irregular how about yeah. how about listened? Listen is regular verb. Regular verb. Okay. Yeah. Yes, How I about know. paint? Paint is regular. Painted. Regular. So the, the big question yeah. here is, can I add the ed for past, right? And if if it, yeah. if if you can add it, or you can add the ing, then it would be a regular verb. Listened, painted. painted. Let me see. Doing. Uh, uh, what? Watched. Let's see. Watched. Is irregular. Watched. Irregular. Regular. Watched. Regular. So do. Do is irregular. Regular. Irregular. Do this. Don't do it. Send. Send. Send is irregular. Regular. Send. 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 Because send, it's a, send. okay. It's a T, right? Okay. Yeah. Cleaned. Regular. 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 Okay. Clean, clean it. How about C? Irregular. Irregular. What C, would so we C. saw, right? Saw, okay. C, so How about go? C, so C. Irregular. Irregular. Go when gone. Gone, okay. Right? 
write irregular verbs. Write, wrote, wrote, okay. written. Smile. My regular verb. Because you can say smiled. Smile. Okay. How about visit? Regular. Visited. Okay. Hold on. It needs to stick. There it is. How about played? Play is regular. Regular. Okay. Eat. Irregular verb. It ate. It ate. Eight. Okay. B. Irregular. It's is just B, right? <laughs> Study. Study. Regular. Regular. Study. Regular. Okay. Regular. Have irregular verb. Irregular. Okay. Like yeah. is regular verb. Like. Liked. Okay. All right. Teacher, I was teaching. I was teaching this. this nice. Topic. You see? There we go. Yeah. That's what we, so let's uh, check it out. Yesterday. Let's go. We're gonna yesterday, we're gonna see. I, we're going to see if these are correct, and then we're gonna work on filling in the, the the sentences. So let's go finish. Let's check it out. And all all green. Well done, everybody. There it is. So how? So once again, how can you tell whether it's a regular verb or an irregular verb? But it's okay. How can you tell when the when the verb change? If it changes, Yesterday I play it to ed, right? Or. Okay, or to ing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. So let's work. Let's work on the ones at the bottom. All right. And so now for these, same thing, right? You have the blank space and you guys tell me. Now, you guys will use the verbs, only the verbs that are on section A. Yeah. Only the regular verbs that we had. So that's the only thing that you can use here. Yes, play. Yesterday I played, Dice Maddie. Okay. Full bar in the park. I played. Play. Okay. Football in the park. Yeah. Played. Remember, played. 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 There you go. You got it. That you got it. Number two. Uh, my mother read a book last year. Read a book. My mother, you can only use. Wrote, wrote, wrote a book, wrote, because wrote. It's, yeah. the verb is write. Wrote. Write, wrote, written. We can't use written. We can't, my mother write no. a book. No, my mother wrote, written wrote. a book. It's, it's yeah, okay. Wrote. Wrote. okay. Wrote. How about number right. three? Uh, my uh, Peter painted. 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 Yes. Did we painted. have it painted? Painted. Painted. This color when he was younger. Yeah, painted. Peter painted. Okay. Number four. Blank. You blank yeah. a letter to Did your grandma. You do Did you, you send it? Do you send Did a letter you to your grandma? Grandma? Sent. Did you? Yeah, send. Send. In present. Did you send? Did you send? A letter? Yeah. Okay. A letter. Yeah. Number five. We watched. 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 Watch, but the. It's not. I don't see watch the verb TV. watch. No, On the watch, very top? No. no. Yeah, it's up here. No. Watch. No. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I, I see. Watch. It. Watched. Okay. Watch. Watch or watch it. Actually, you have to be very careful with this one. It's watched. 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 Uh, watched. watched. Uh -huh. I watched TV. I watched. You have to have the D sound. Watched. All right, let's let's check these out. 
so far we have five. Let's go and try them out. Oh, painted number three, painted. So, yes. what could we have used? Sounds weird. Yeah, I what? What? Let me see. Watched is also wrong. <clears throat> Sorry, watched. We. Like yeah. we like instead of oh, so Peter imagine. likes this color. Peter uh -huh. or we saw we saw yes. we saw TV liked and then we saw like <laughs> TV. Let's try those. Let's try. No, no liked. Oh my God, Peter. <laughs> oh no like. What Peter? Maybe I I misspelled it. No. Well, you don't. Well, no. It has to be only the ones on regular verb. Brock, yeah. Brock yeah. Is when he was no, stronger. you know. We'll we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it right. All right. <clears throat> These are the ones that I had broken. for you guys. Broken. Well, he Peter broke broken the color. No. Broken. I think we're gonna we're gonna no. have to. We're gonna have the to TV? use some of them. We broke. Oh, we broke. broke. No, we no. We visited broke the TV. TV. Oh, we visited the TV. We smiled. No. All right, all right. Let's let's leave it at that. We're gonna. Vamos a tener tres cosas. I'm not gonna be able to sleep. All right. Let's go back here a little bit. And I believe that with the knowledge check, uh, you guys were able, or you guys had been able to complete some of these, right? Uh, section 2.5, we actually did, all of us, we kind of went through it. It's also part of what's up, and we had them in what's up. Um, then it moves over to all the way, let me see, the next knowledge check is 2.10, which is the listening exercise. And it has to do with the hills. Saw an object flying beside their car. Oh. So this is the knowledge check for 2.10. And the idea is for you guys to listen and then be able to answer the questions, right? And I think I was able to complete some of those. <clears throat> okay. And then the next one is the 2.11 which is a reading exercise as well. Listening and reading are what they finish with. And then this one is really short, right? False, false, true with the amnesia. So, oh, it broke. Well, that, that's a first. Okay. And then once you guys complete the knowledge check, it will send you all the way up to section number three. And then here, we start off with listening exercises as well. Actually, this is the midterm, so we're gonna go through it. Skip right through it, and then go to section three. All right, and this is how we start section three. Relative and non-relative clauses. And did I show you guys the relative? No, I didn't show you guys. <gasps> All right, so I think this is going to be for us tomorrow where we talk about relative and non-defining relative clauses. Give you guys a review on what is a clause and give you guys a review on what is a relative clause um, because that's when they come in, right? A relative clause can either be defining or non-defining and so that's what we're going to talk about. All right, everybody. Wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you guys so much for coming in. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Claro, claro, Madeline. I have, I have run my WhatsApp. All right, so today I have to, um, very good the WhatsApp. I sent you uh, the message. But I don't have I don't have your number. The, the well, let me give it to you. Phone. Did you, Madeline? Were you able the to get phone. my Were you able to get my email address so that you can you can ask me also for the presentation? 
Ah, uh, no, no, I don't have the, the email. Okay, let me go ahead and put it in the chat. Yeah. That is my email address. But but there's no okay. O. It's just robert.martinez81 at gmail.com. And let me see where okay, I left. Let me go and hold on, hang tight. Let me go ahead and give you my let me go ahead and give you my my by number. Yes, let me see if I have my you. cell phone I, here. I, I'm going to send you. No worries, no worries. Let me go ahead and let me find my cell. I think I put it here somewhere. Hold on, guys. I always try to hide it. Okay. And this one is for my what's up, Madeline. Okay. Uh, let me okay. see here. Uh, I am not in the in the group. Oh, um, okay. So I sent you. That's my WhatsApp. Why? Why are you? Why are you not in the group, Madeline? I am not in the group because my my WhatsApp hadn't hadn't well. Oh, okay. So, I'm. Um, if you send me your number, I can give it to my IT and he can add you. Do you want to be added to the group? My my number mm -hmm. is seven one. Uh, 13 12 72 that's a lot 72. of that, that's a lot of ones so it's 7113 yes, it's okay. 1272 yeah, it's okay my phone this is my phone okay madeline okay thank you hold on let me take a i take a picture of everything now ah all right. Bye, All right. Bye, good, evening. Good, evening. Good, night. good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.